Herr Gerd, we are here in the new interventional MR lab in the Heart Center in Leipzig. First, my congratulations to the installation of this new site. What is your perspective? Will this be a pure research facility or are you, going, are you going to use this facility in clinical routine practice? Yeah, first of all, uh, thank you. We are proud and happy that we have the MRI interventional EP installation here at Heart Center Leipzig, which results from uh, the experience that the two of us together with the group supporting us gained over the last three years when we went into the research program of interventional electrophysiology in an MRI environment. The animal experimental results uh, that we worked out and then the first clinical results with passive tracking, then the next clinical series with active tracking was so convincing that uh, we decided to make an investment into an EP dedicated interventional suite here at Hudson to Leipzig. If we look to the key challenges in interventional electrophysiology of the future, it's mainly on substrate-based arrhythmias. It's mainly on atrial fibrillation and atrial fibrillation-related arrhythmias like left atrial microventral tachycardias, and it is on ventricular tachycardia in the uh, presence of structural heart disease. Don't get me wrong, I believe that electrograms catheter manipulation and interpretation of electrograms will, uh, will still be important in the electrophysiology uh, of the future in an MRI. But the key difference is to gain benefits from the additional and unique information that only MRI technology can give you in order to support the procedure. We have made significant uh, headway in the past three years, surprising and amazing uh, here with the team at, at Heart Center Leipzig. Uh, we were able to show that first in animals we can uh, deliver safe electrophysiologic in intervention and ablation. Then we moved to the patients with right-sided arrhythmias and could show that the procedures can not only be uh, delivered safely and effectively, but also in time frames that are comparable to the time frames that uh, you need in uh, conventional EP labs uh, with fluoroscopy. Needless to say, this technology will be developed for left-sided arrhythmias, atrial fibrillation and treatment of ventricular tachycardia. Uh, 